Hello students, welcome back. This question is from gate 1999 exam. It was asked for one mark and it got repeated as it is in gate exam of 2005. So this rarely happens in gate exam that questions get repeated without any change. Okay. Anyways, they're asking boots coding in eight bits for decimal number minus 57 is for this. First, we need to find how our multiplier is represented in two's complement representation in eight bits. Okay. So let's find two's complement representation in eight bits of minus 57. This is normal binary representation of plus 57. Now, if I add a zero here, okay, is this two's complement representation of plus 57? No. If this is two's complement representation, it will represent some negative number because it's beginning from one. It cannot represent plus 57. In normal binary representation, it is 57, okay. Now to make it two's complement representation of plus 57, I'm adding a zero here. And to make it eight bits, I'm adding one more zero here. This is two's complement representation of plus 57 in eight bits. Now we want two's complement representation of minus 57. For that, just take two's complement of this pattern. It is one, 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 triple zero, double one okay so minus 57 will be represented like this it is double one triple zero triple one just keep this pattern in mind so minus 57 was double one triple zero triple one okay now we need to find boots encoding of this multiplier. Okay, this is minus 57. For finding boots coding, you just add a zero in right. Okay, why are we adding this zero? For that, you can watch my theory lectures. Anyways, now whenever a block of ones begin, the encoding will be minus one. And whenever a block of zeros begin, the encoding will be one. Okay. See, if you are currently on zero and next bit is one, we can be very sure that a block of ones is beginning. For example, currently you are here, next bit is one. You can be sure from this point, a block of ones is beginning. So you output minus one for a block of ones. You output one for a block of zeros. And if there is no change, that means current bit and next bit are same you will output a zero. Okay. That means no new block of zeros or ones is beginning. So let's see. Change from zero to one means a block of ones is beginning. Block of ones means right minus one. Change from one to one means we are not encountering any new block of ones or zeros. Okay. So one to one will also be zero and one to one will also be zero. This is the same block that we just saw right now that is beginning from here. Okay. So both of these are zero zero. Now from this point, there is a change from one to zero. That means this block of ones has ended a new block of zeros is beginning. New blocks of zeros is beginning. That means you will output one. Okay. That block continues still here. Okay. So both of these will be zero zero. Now, from here, a block of ones is again beginning. You output minus one. No change. That means you output zero. So boots encoding is zero minus one, zero, zero, zero minus one, double zero, plus one, double zero minus one. So it has option B. Okay. For question from gate 1999 exam, answer is option B. And for question from 2005, it is option a yeah because only option a ends with minus one okay so what is the significance of these zeros and these ones zeros represent only a shift is done okay so at all these places only shift is performed minus one represents 
we are subtracting minus for subtraction as well as a shift okay so here we shift along with subtraction here we shift along with addition so shift is done for each and every bit 8 bit number means 8 shifts 2 times minus 1 means 2 subtractions are done and 1 positive 1 means 1 addition is performed okay so we can just multiply the number using these operations okay so your answer is b and a